Hello and welcome to Bailey's. So Knockpix has finally been announced. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a video just to explain where Knockpix has actually come from. So Knockpix themselves are an evolution from infrared technology um, and they're more centered on us as hunters in the field with what they're producing with rifle scopes and spotters. So they've got three core beliefs which are advancements in code and core and that's using algorithms and clever technology to create the finest image for us downrange when we're out doing our job. Secondly, ultimate visual experience from beginning to end. Basically saying, making sure that the lens and the system at the back, the optics that you're looking through, um, everything works together in synergy to create the best user experience. And thirdly, intuitive interface inside and out. These devices across the range will become very easy and recognisable to use. Uh, very simple for people that struggle with um, more advanced things like setting them up and zeroing. It's all very simple, all very easy. So that's where these guys have come from. Um, they are producing some fantastic equipment, which you're going to see over the next few days in different videos, from thermal spotters to rifle scopes with integrated range finders and ballistic calculators. So, on that note, let's get to the videos. Thank you very much. Cheers. Hello and welcome to Bailey's. In this video, not only are we looking at a brand new scope, we're looking at a brand new brand. Um, so this is Knockpix. Uh, this is the Ace H50R. This is their second from the top flagship scope um, and so far it's been absolutely outstanding for the testing I've put it through on the range. This scope has got an integrated laser range finder which is actually in the lens at the front so you've got no bulk of having an external lump on top of the scope um, and it's got the full ballistics calculator as well which is nice and easy to use. I've put it to test out to 500 yards on this ground and it's absolutely worked flawlessly on the 22250. Uh, just so you know this rifle is unloaded and safe. Um, so brief overview of the scope. Standard accurate adjustment on the back, on the top here, I'll put pictures up so you can see, you've got a shortcut uh, selection of buttons here which is your power button, your latest range finder button and your picture and video button. This ring here is for your optical zoom. So not only has this got times 24 digital zoom, but you've got an optical zoom on the back which zooms into the screen for a quick on target just a quick focus adjust uh, zoom adjustment just so you can zoom in just a little bit for your own eyes 30 millimeter tube on here inside this is usb type c for recharging the internal batteries in the scope on the other side i'll put a picture up you've got an 18650 um, battery compartment so you can bang a 18650 in the side there to give yourself some extra juice while you're out shooting this is a mechanical door on this, so it's nice and sturdy. Clicks to close, absolutely superb. I've been using nippleless 18650s in there and they've been absolutely bang on. The top turret, not only if you rotate it, does it act as your zoom for your digital zoom, but one click on the menu button on the top will bring up a shortcut menu, which will have such as your zero profile, your brightness, your contrast, your image sharpness, as well as your color palette, your chosen color palette. And this has got some lovely color palettes on it. Uh, a long press will bring up the full menu, which has got all your Wi-Fi and your, your main settings, your zeroing and everything else. Reticle style, you can change everything on there. Um, the colour palettes on this are absolutely superb. You've got your standard white heat, you've got black heat, which looks amazing, especially with the uh, temperatures cooling down now as well. You've got uh, like a fusion, predator vision as we all call it. Uh, you've got a nice purpley colour, you've got red and you've got green, which is, I love green, so easy on the eye, stops me from getting headaches, which is absolutely bang on. Uh, and yeah, they've, they've put some really nice features into this. With the digital zoom as well, they've used a little bit of smart technology so that when you're zooming in on things, as soon as you hit time seven-ish on this, you'll notice that the image sharpens up a little bit more. So you'll start to get pixelated, then it will sharpen up, and it, it steps through like that as you go through the zoom. So you've always got, a good quality image all the way up to times 24 which is rare for a thermal rifle scope. The focus on the front here is nice and smooth, nice and easy and you can really get a nice fine crisp image and then you've got your standard lens protector on the front there to keep everything safe. As I said standard 30mm tube on this, uh, it has got quite a large bell on the front 
so I'd probably recommend high rings but apart from that this scope has put up with everything we've put it through um, I've took this out foxing um, we've done the range work with it I'll include all that footage next I pre-recorded that uh, showing the ballistic calculator doing its bit and you'll be able to see on the screen what it's doing uh, and it's absolutely rained fire on the rain its range it's been perfect uh, even on this 22 250 so absolutely bang on so the next video you'll see we'll jump onto the range this was pre-recorded of me putting it through some long-range uh, ballistic testing with the ballistic app cheers right then hello and welcome to Bailey's we are trying out for the first time on camera the all new Knockpix Ace H50R so this is a high-end sensor um, it's got built-in rangefinder as you can see at the front which is integrated into the front lens which is nice full ballistic calculator on here as well and all we're going to do we're just going to confirm that hopefully I can see the gongs at the distances I want to shoot but we're going to go two three and hopefully 400 yards this is on my 22250 as well so we've got the Hornady uh, 50 grain varmint express so just off the screen whichever side I'll press record now so you can see there my freestanding gongs so we're just going to go for the little one at the top good solid center strike and then we're going to go down luckily we can see these as well so we're going to press the range find button you're going to see a little pip rock up there, so we're just going to range 317 yards and it's given me a green cross so we'll zoom in so we can see that green cross remove any cant hold the green cross on the target can't rumble like that now can we see oh just we can just see the targets down there. Bear in mind these are steel targets and they are going cold rapidly. So we'll ping these here. That's the rangefinder ping you'll see there. 410. And then it's going to give me a reticle. And I can put that reticle on. We'll go for that gong there. So if I zoom back out, that was on that. So that is absolutely bob on. Um, I'm not sure if I can do the five. I can just, just barely make out the steel targets. We'll give it a go regardless. So range finder ping. It's 497. Green pip has come up. There is no breeze, I don't think. There you go. So the ballistics, we turn this off. I'll zoom back out. The ballistics on this scope work absolutely superbly. Right then, now for the footage people want to see. As you can see, the footage here is from the round screen, which is what's Aye. inside Aye. the Ace Aye. scope. This is the one with the 640 sensor. The rangefinder goes out to 1200 meters as well, which is ideal. But you can see the image quality, Recorded. background image, everything is of such a high standard. Um, the things you can see on the screen there, on the right hand side, the battery bars, and on the left hand side your external battery and these are some of the colour palettes all very easy on the eye all very suitable for different circumstances there's my favourite, the green and that's a munt jack and then you've got some footage here of a munt jack at about 140, 150 yards away just strolling along down the side of one of the fairways and uh, that on the left you can see is the quick shortcut menu. So a single press of the top turret brings that up. And you can see my zero distance at the bottom left of the screen, the 200 yards. So yeah, all in all, an absolutely superb scope, superb image quality. And even there, 
you can see me magnifying in. It's a first focal plane reticle, so it grows in size as you magnify in, so your holdovers remain the same. But that image quality is absolutely superb. Even the detail you can see there in the trees, the leaves, low slung branches, absolutely everything. It's all really nice and clear on this scope. Just changing the contrast there. Obviously with black hot, the lower you go, the lower the number, um, the lighter the image using the contrast. But I'm, I'm in love with this scope. So I hope you can see from that footage that I've just put up how outstanding this is and how technology has come on such a long way. I would say only three, three years ago I was a naysayer in saying that thermal, I'd, I'd never run just a thermal rifle scope and use a thermal spotter, I'd always use a thermal spotter, a good thermal spotter and have conventional envy on my rifle because I, I didn't think you could trust thermal enough. However, nowadays the fact that you can see the bone in a fox's tail at 200 yards and you can positively identify that it's a fox and not a cat and you can positively identify different animals out on the ground i think it's outstanding how technology's come on and i also think it's outstanding that Knockpix have taken advantage of the technology available and combined it into one very nice scope especially having the optical zoom on the back as well which you know for quick target acquisition and just being able to apply a little bit of magnification to the back of the screen is superb so if you've got any questions about not picks as a brand or their rifle scopes or their spotters you can find them on social media platforms such as facebook and instagram and you can also visit their uk website as well and you can find your nearest retailer on there but i'm over the moon with this scope and uh, i hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you in the next one cheers